Hi, and welcome to Daily Devotions. I'm Deacon Mindy Bugai, and I'm so glad that you're joining me this evening. I hope that you are making use of our website, GodAmong.us, and um, joining in as much as you can, whether it's online or in person, in our activities, and um, that's where you're going to find all of the information necessary to be on campus at the right times or find us online at the right times. So do check the website regularly and be involved as much as you can. We are um, excited about being back together in person, but we are also very mindful of um, the online options and all that means for those who are not ready to come back in person. So um, we're just glad to have you here. Well, in my last devotions, I spoke about trying to identify our purpose in life as Christians. First, I shared our purpose is to love God. And in so doing, our purpose becomes to reflect Jesus to the world through our loving actions and words. To become more and more like Jesus in our daily lives means that we are to serve others humbly and generously as Jesus did. To be a servant to all on the surface is an overwhelming task. But hear how Jesus served. I'm going to read a passage from John 13. First, it's um, verses 3 through 5. Jesus knew that the Father had put him in complete charge of everything, that he came from God and was on his way back to God. So he got up from the supper table, set aside his robe, and put on an apron. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the feet of the disciples, drying them with his apron. While Jesus was well aware that his time on earth would end soon, he chose to leave the table to wash the feet of those disciples who followed him. He became a servant and demonstrated the loving compassion for them in this very simple and humbling act. In John 13, 12 through 17, the story continues. It says, then he said, do you understand what I have done for you? You address me as teacher and master and rightly so. That is what I am. So if I, the master and teacher washed your feet, you must now wash each other's feet. I've laid down a pattern for you. What I've done, you do. I'm only pointing out the obvious. The servant is not ranked above his master. An employee doesn't give orders to the employer. If you understand what I'm telling you, act like it and live a blessed life. As Christians, our response to the generous and humbling gift of grace through Christ should be to live as Jesus taught. Within each of us is or are God-given abilities which help us to provide for ourselves and to provide for others. This passage from 1 Peter says, Most of all, love each other as if your life depended on it. Love makes up for practically anything. Be quick to give a meal to the hungry, a bed to the homeless, cheerfully. Be generous with the different things God gave you, passing them around so all get in on it. If words, let it be God's words. If help, let it be God's hearty help. That way, God's bright present will be evident in everything through Jesus. So it isn't just about the wonderful talent one has or the special abilities one has. It is about the common humble gifts that each of us have within us that can make life better for those around us. Jesus washed feet. It wasn't something miraculous. And yet think about what it must have meant to the disciples when he did it. So whatever it is, the ability to organize things, to fix things, to tell stories, to listen to others, to run errands, 
all just examples of some simple things that can be very, so very meaningful to others. Think about what kindness, what abilities you have that God gave you to share. Consider even the smallest act that you may offer to another. Then share it. Part of everyone's purpose in life is to serve as Jesus did. Simply serve. Let's pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, always and forever. Amen. Well, I hope you have a wonderful remainder of your evening. Good night and God bless.